sometimes we're facing such amazing hours full of inspiration and epiphanies, great light and visions are in front of our eyes but sometimes the night is coming, darkness surrounds the person and you cannot even remember your own name. Try to figure out what am I doing here, what's the purpose of my life. So how can it be that a person one day can be so up, so high, so elevated, so inspired, so flaming with holy fire within and in the next hour, like in a minute, suddenly clouds are coming, destroying your day, losing your balance, losing your mind, freaking out, getting sad, depressed, lonely, all the darkness hits you like... How can it be? We should know that our limited mind is showing to us a fraction of infinity. That is the reality that we're experiencing. When the real truth is that there is no end and there's no size and measure and amount to the infinity of the Creator that is surrounding us. There is no end to the world, just that we cannot see that light. We are traveling in a limitation that is called time. And as well, we're stuck in a limitation that is called place. And in that place and under that limitation of time, we don't see much and we're experiencing only a tiny fraction of the large picture, only a tiny piece of a more than billion pieces puzzle. And therefore, sometimes we feel like we're coming to an end. We're experiencing darkness. We see pain and loss and, and sadnesses with no end. But the real truth is that there is much more to all life situations. There is the next part to any stuck position, to any painful reality, to any pain that we're experiencing in life. There is the next stage and step of development and growth and prosperity and deep understandings. But the person must focus on his inside to experience that. While your eyes are open and your ears are, uh, ears are open wide and you listen to the people's opinion and you see what's going on in the world, you cannot find the truth. There are too many details around you. But when you close your eyes and you focus on your heart, on your soul, there you can find one truth, that there is a supervisor above us and he's one.